Since the 1950s, NASA has developed heat-resistant coatings. After 40 years of experimentation, NASA unlocked the mystery of emissivity to create a top-secret coating technology. NASA created the X-33 and X-34 space planes that flew up to 22 times the speed of sound. These planes needed thermal protection to protect them from burning up during flight. Sadly, these future space planes were never commercialized, but the technology would not be lost. The NASA protective ceramic coating inspired a renowned mad scientist, Dr. John Olver, to transform the technology into an arsenal of magic coatings with superpowers. Dr. Olver's coatings shield surfaces from blazing fires and extreme heat as temperatures reach 3,400 degrees Fahrenheit. Dr. O wondered what to call a magic coating that would be a heat shield to any surface. Dr. O said, Eureka, I have the perfect name. We will call it Emishield, a coating that will give any surface the ability to control thermal energy. Dr. O had a secret weapon, his great book of heat transfer knowledge. A very powerful book because it contains all the formulas, potions, and science needed to control thermal energy. The magic Emishield coating works because its high emissivity behaves like a black body, an object that has perfect absorption of all radiation, regardless of direction or wavelength. Like a sponge, a surface with high emissivity absorbs all radiant heat energy before bouncing it away. Emissivity is the thermal radiation a body emits to its environment. Emishil can take the thermal energy of the heat and redirect it away from the surface that it coats. Furnace walls coated with Emishil won't absorb all the heat. That heat is re-radiated back towards the heat source. So the heat is not lost to the wall and the coated surface actually becomes cooler. To apply the power of this magic coating, one must understand that Emishil is not an insulator and it is not a barrier to the conduction of thermal energy. The magic is really science. Heat energy bouncing off the Emishil travels on electromagnetic waves, the same way the sun gives us heat on Earth at over 90 million miles away. The sun radiates heat with no other assistance than these waves, which are invisible to the naked eye. Now that Dr. O had invented Emishil, he would use it to protect the world's industries from process villains, heat demons, profit-destroying thermal money pits, and mayhem causing chemical corrosion. Emishil began to take on these villains across the world with a dedicated team of field agents. Dr. O's unique team of special Emishil agents battle process villains with an arsenal of centered and uncentered Emishil coatings. Emishil is proven to improve the thermal efficiency of materials, steel, insulation, and dense refractory used for lining industrial furnaces, like glass tanks. Emishil is a known hero for glass furnace crowns, reducing heat losses and improving thermal efficiency so glass furnaces can keep melting economically to produce glass products, vital to everyday life. In many recuperative glass furnaces, there are two towers full of large masses of brick shapes called checkers, which form chimneys that recycle gases that are over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. These regenerator towers act as a heat exchange system, cycling heat between chambers back to the molten glass 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. A plea for help came from the operators that the regenerator towers were fast becoming profit-destroying thermal money pits attacked by heat-stealing demons. Dr. O had to reach the Emishil agents immediately to take on the process villains to save this glass tank regenerator. Chief Hood, head of R&D, summoned the team for this mission. The covert team developed a mission plan to perform a quantitative field evaluation to corroborate the theory that an Emishil coating would improve the efficiency of heat transfer in glass tank regenerators. During a maintenance shutdown, an informant at this glass furnace allowed covert Emishil agents Sean and Danny to go in and coat a zone of the checkers. Due to the extreme furnace temperatures, this could be a very dangerous mission. So before spring, they had to wait for the checkers to cool. After the furnace was restarted, agents would go back in and retrieve the data. Sometime later, when the furnace was hot again, Justin and Kelvinator went to the weapons vault for a weapon of mass detection, a laser-enabled optical parameter. It detects extreme temperatures using an infrared laser. Per protocol, the team adjusted the emissivity setting of the parameter and entered the inferno to measure both coated and uncoated checker zones. When the team escaped the tower and returned to the lab, Chief Hood calculated the effective heat radiation and heat absorption. The temperature difference between the two checker zones was also measured. What he found was quite remarkable. The temperature of coated checkers, mass, decreased approximately 300 degrees Fahrenheit. This delta T or temperature difference was significant. The energy of the coated checkers was absorbed and re-radiated 20% more efficiently, while the uncoated checkers were a heat sink. Therefore, emissile coated checkers absorb more heat and re-radiate that heat faster and better than uncoated checkers. The magic emissile coating had taken control of the thermal energy and made the coated checkers cooler. 
sending heat back into the process. Once again, Dr. O and his Emichel agents proved that magic Emichel coating protected towers from the heat-stealing demons and kept the regenerators from being swallowed by profit-destroying thermal money pits. Furnace operators later discovered some unexpected benefits. The Emichel coated checker surfaces were less porous and more resistant to the adherence of alkali deposits, preventing clogging of the flues. The Emichel coating also improved resistance to thermal shock, further increasing their lifespan. The mission was successful improving furnace efficiency by 20% because coated checkers absorb and radiate heat faster and better. The new efficiencies save money every time the regenerator towers are loaded, 48 to 72 times per day. Assuming an annual energy cost of a million dollars, the exuberant operators would realize a savings of over $200,000 by coating only a small zone. Coating the entire mass and superstructure sidewalls could mean an even better ROI and payback to the glass plant. Remember, the science of emissivity drives this powerful phenomenon. The details of these observations were captured in a secret dossier codenamed Emishield White Paper. The paper is available to those who understand the magic at www.emishield.com.